Well hello YouTube! Reef is life here. Um, I've made a strange decision today. I've decided to ride the bike in to work. Uh, which is about a 10-12 mile ride from Douglas down to near the airport, near Castletown, Balasala. Um, it's a bit windy, actually it's very windy, um, and it's a bit damp, but I haven't ridden the bike for during February. I rode it during December, as you know, I rode it during January, as you know, I think I rode it during January. Um, and on the basis I'm no longer a fine weather biker and I want to make sure I ride the bike at least once every month um, obviously in the summer I'll be riding all my bikes and I'll probably try to ride them to work um, not every day but most days so yeah I thought it was time for a bit of a vlog and a bit of an update so that my bike followers on YouTube don't feel neglected. So the Harley's running great. Um, I had it cleaned a few weeks ago. I'm currently up to 2,792 miles. Um, it was going a bit crusty uh, because I rode it back for the new year to England and of course over there in England they seem to salt the roads like they, like it's tarmac so where they should be filling in potholes they're actually salting the roads mega um, if they invested more in their blooming tarmac maybe they wouldn't need to salt so much because the roads would be in a lot, lot better condition over here they don't seem to salt anywhere near as much only when it's actually required which is to be fair we haven't had many frosts over here. We are um, a slightly warmer climate in terms of the winter. We don't get the peak temperatures that, that England gets during the summer. Um, it's only a few degrees out, but, but all the same, it's lower. Uh, whereas over here, winter, um, we're generally two or three degrees warmer, maybe even more at times. So whereas you're getting uh, frosties, we're uh, we're generally about three or four degrees so yeah I'm riding my bike to work um, it's half term over here so the roads are actually a lot quieter anyway which is weird so yeah like I say bikes running great it's looking pretty good um, I do need to clean it further. I need to actually um, get the old auto sole or whatever it's called out and sort the chrome out properly and get a bit of a toothbrush toothbrush going on the on some of the silver work. Um, I still haven't tried. I haven't changed the indicators yet. I have tried, but I'm going to have to take the wheel off the rear wheel off to do that. Um, and I'm just not in the mood to do it at the moment. But it's great to be out. Uh, as you will have seen, I've um, started uploading. For the last month, my focus has been back on drones because I had about three or f probably four or five months off of doing the drones. Um, because I had a bit of a mishap with with it and I've had to have it repaired so uh, now it's all repaired I'm able to get back out on it I'm using the 4k facility um, and I'm getting some pretty good uh, videos in my humble opinion I do want to get more adventurous in how I film to make the drone footage a little bit more exciting Equally, I want to use the drone while I'm out on the bike, have it following me um, and stuff like that, but that will come with time. 
and that'll have to be when it's not so windy over here because I don't like flying the drone when it's windy. Um, I'm now up to 220 subscribers. I know, I know, I've still got to do the draw, which I will be doing. Um, I might well try to make it part of this video. Um, it's not a case of I'm avoiding it. Uh, I just haven't, I just simply haven't done it yet, that's all. Um, for various reasons. One, working out who all my subscribers are because it's not a straightforward look at the list so um, yeah I'll get that done um, and and the positive out of it to be to be totally honest is all the new stock for 2017 in terms of TT gear is beginning to come out so where is before I promised to get a fleece you know a pink fleece for if it was a, wim a lady winner um, a blue or a green fleece if it was a male winner um, they were all out of stock because they were all 2016 and they sell out by sort of October November so I misjudged that one but actually all the new stocks beginning to come in so I'll be able to fulfill that um, that promise of it being what I in, uh, originally intent, intended of being some sort of fleece or a leather jacket or something like that so that's all good. Yeah, I'm up to 220 subscribers. Um, please give a thumbs up um, and subscribe. Um, I've, I've added some easier ways of subscribing on my channel now. The bottom left hand, bottom right hand corner, there's now a uh, subscribe button. So yeah, I mean, Isle of Man's still as fantastic as ever, albeit, I don't know, it might come out on the uh, video today, but my god, it is quite windy today. And there's gales forecast for this afternoon, or mid-afternoon, but it should be okay for my ride home. It's just great to be out on the bike. changes the whole perspective of going into work. So I've got relatively big plans for this year, for 2017, both for drones, both for bike footage. Um, I've bought some extra plugins for Final Cut, which is the video editing software that I use. And that is that's going to enable me to do some uh, clever things with titles and um, so while I'm riding along I can actually uh, pinpoint certain locations I can see diesel on the road there you don't want diesel when you're riding a two-wheel motor vehicle there's some beautiful properties along here roads muddy my bike will be nice and dirty again which is how it should be I don't mind it being dirty, I just don't like it being salted up because salt plays chronic with the um, Harley bolts and chrome. Lovely big house there. It's actually a massive house here around the corner with turrets and everything. There, in there, there it's just flipping huge. Turrets and whatnot. I don't know who lives in there, but they're obviously affluent. My 
my visor is misting up which is a pain in the ass. I'm trying to keep my visor shut so that it's not so wind noisy but um, sorry I've got to have it open. Kind of seeing is quite important. So what else? I don't know really. Just get out on the bikes. Um, we're less than a hundred days now to the TT. Can't wait for the TT to start. <laughs> Of course, Guy Martin is um, coming back to the TT, riding the Honda with uh, John McInnes. So that'll add a bit of spice, hopefully. Hopefully he does well. I would love to see him win one. He's also going to be riding the Mugen electric bike. Um, yeah, I would love to see Guy win a TT. I'm on the side now that I'm not 100% convinced it'll happen. Three or four years ago I've said I would have said yeah it will definitely happen. Now I'm not so sure. Um, but I'm sure he'll have a damn good crack at it. You gotta be in it to win it. And he's in it. So let's see what happens. Um, there are a lot of he's got a massive massive fan following um, but equally he's got some haters out there I don't understand the haters they say he's not approachable when he's in the pits and stuff like that but you know the guy's preparing mentally to do 200 miles an hour between hedges and stone walls <laughs> just because others can be approachable and still focused, doesn't mean to say Guy has to, so um, yeah, good on him, do what he has to do. I'm quite surprised how windy it is, to be perfectly honest. So yeah, that was a bit of an update. Hopefully I haven't lost too many followers by not um, vlogging or um, doing videos on the bike much lately. Um, and hopefully uh, my channel carrot continues to grow. I think 220 subscribers is pretty good for one year. Well, less than a year. Because I've only been doing it since sort of May time. April maybe. So, no, maybe March, April. But yeah. Um, all my videos combined are up to about 140,000 views. My biggest video, my Norton video, that's over 30,000 views now. It's probably up to about 33,000 by now. My next one is my test drives. Test rides on the Harleys and Triumphs. They're generally in the tens to 20,000. So, um, all good, I'm happy. Um, all I'd like to do is say thank you for following, thank you for viewing, thank you for subscribing, thank you for liking, thank you for commenting, and uh, the competitions will be drawn, and I will be announcing the winners ASAP. So, yeah, take care all. I may speak to you later on my journey home. Hello 
Oh, YouTube. End of the day, heading home. And I'm heading home in daylight, just. Airport ahead of me. Damn, I love this bike. I think we'll go the back road today. A few twisties. One thing about this bike I would not change. I would not change the drag bars. I've seen comments on the forum saying drag bars are uncomfortable, apes are better. What a load of rubbish. These drag bars are so comfy, I can throw the bike around with full control. Even I just think drag bars are the way to go. Maybe if you're shorter they wouldn't work, but I love them. I do want to buy something for the bike, but I don't want to. Ex ex I don't want to spend a fortune at the moment. So I don't know. I might do the fuel caps that I've been talking about. Uh, I can live without the fairing or the bikini fairing or whatever. They look cool, but I just I can live without it. change the tyres as well. I'm going to go for something a little bit different, I think drag but uh, chunky tyres. Beautiful, what an island. Oh, it is still daylight. It's 
So anyway, thank you YouTube, thank you for watching and like I've said earlier, thank you for supporting me. Um, I hope I continue to improve and you find my videos interesting. Um, I enjoy it, so the reward for me is just posting up and getting a few hundred views. Uh, a few likes, a few comments are always great. Uh, subscribe button, hitting that, people hitting that, that that's rewarding. But otherwise, I thank you all, and uh, I will speak to you soon. Take care. Harbour. Ferry port. Oh, they're going to be temporarily resurfacing this end of the prom now as well. So no more of this, this bumpy shit. They've done half of it, so now they're going to do this half. be interesting to see how they do it, because they only did a strip, one strip each side. Uh, whereas this end's a lot wider, so it'll be interesting to see what they do down here. And there's rumours they're changing, changing the twin tram lines up this end to a single tram line. Whether they'll do that on the temporary fix, I don't know. I think that'll come under the major revamp. But, yeah. Anyway. To repeat myself, everybody take care, ride safe, and have fun.